Okay, so Ed and Gary, too, want to know how to set up MIDI and MIDI devices in Reaper. And uh, so here you go. Here's what I did. I created a new version of Reaper that has absolutely nothing loaded in it. So this is the stock, unadorned, I just downloaded it and installed it Reaper. And the only thing I did was tell it what my audio interface was. So I'm going to assume you have your audio interface set up. And if you don't, we can cover that, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my preferences, and that is either uh, Control P on the Mac or what is it? It's uh, Apple comma or Command comma for preferences in a Mac. So here's my preferences window, or at least it should be there. Now it is. All right. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go. This is the preferences window. And you go down here to audio and MIDI devices. And so you can see, and my, your MIDI devices will look a little different than, than mine do, but uh, once you have everything connected and all your stuff done, and if it's class compliant drivers, they should already be there. All you do to enable MIDI from a device is pick it and enable it. So I just got a brand new, today, I got a Nectar LX88 keyboard controller that I just absolutely adore. So I'm going to basically enable that. And all I'm doing is is double clicking on this and saying I want input from it. And the LX88 also has uh, controller messages that can send for various and sundry things. It's got knobs and sliders and stuff. And if you got knobs and sliders and stuff like that that you want to control or a, a pitch modulation wheel or, or uh, whatever, you'd want to enable that as well. And that's it. I'm just going to say OK. And that's done. And for MIDI out, if you want to have sounds triggered off of an external synth, you would pick the whatever the MIDI connection is and enable that for outputs. So for me, if I want, if the LX88 has no sounds in it, it's just a controller, I can say enable output to this device and it's all set. That's it. You do that one time, Reaper will remember it, writes a configuration file and it saves that into memory. Now, you want to hook up MIDI. And I think I covered this in another video, but in case I didn't, I'll show you again. I'm going to right-click over here and say Insert a New Track. And it inserts the track. And in order to uh, record MIDI, you're going to want to change this. You want to change the record mode. And, and in Reaper, there's a lot of stuff that happens in a right-click. So I'm right-clicking on the Record button, and I'm going to Input MIDI. And I say I want the... Impact LX88, and I'm going to say I want all channels, so whatever channel I set to, it's on the LX88. Right now it's set to channel 1. It'll record it. And if I hit record and I go over to my LX88 and I hit a key, you'll see it's getting a MIDI message by that red line that's jumping up and down there. Okay, But there's no sound happening. How do we get the sound to happen? Well, the way we get the sound to happen is you, if unless you have hardware sense, and I don't, I use all software sense, you would just add an instrument to that particular track. And right now, this is a default instance of Reaper, so it doesn't have all of my instruments loaded. I'm not even sure which one. Is. I guess it does, because it's, it's detecting my other version of Reaper's uh, configuration. Fine. So I'm going to go ahead and say I want true pianos on this particular track. So that is a software synthesizer. It's actually a really good piano. And it just loaded up with the default setting, which should be fine. And I'm going to hit a key. And wait, I still don't hear anything. OK, why don't I hear something? Because I need to have input monitoring on. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to right click again on the, on the record button. And I'm going to say monitor input. And that should make the piano sound. And it is. And there you go. Done. And that's like almost no latency. 3.9 milliseconds latency. There you go. Piano happening. And if I hit record, it will record MIDI. And so I'm going to hit record. And it's not going to record, which is fantastic. Well, if then I know why that is. It's because I'm running the camera software. And it doesn't like the fact I'm trying to record from two different outputs. So if I hit record, it would record MIDI. And I'll show you how that works in another video. But this should get you by. This should get you started. And hopefully that helps. All right? There you have it.